Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Hogwarts. We're gonna go ahead and go straight to Hogsmeade. Last time we got a couple of spells. Give me that page. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll have that one as well. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just thought he, was, he wanted me to do that statue. I forgot. Go up and door, up and door, up and door. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Ripero! She's a bit distraught. <laughs> Wait. I can bump into it. It makes noise. Will I 100% this game? Yes. Yes, I probably will. Will I record we're 100% in it? I don't know. Probably not. Unless it's actually requested. <laughs> because this game is going to be luge. Relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Wait. Side quest. Uh, what's that? Oh dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Oh, in trouble for what? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Ooh. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. <laughs> Seems like a lot of words just to carry them books. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Um. Why did our meet tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Our meet spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. How are we going to collect said books? I mean, uh, Akio would probably work, right? Oh, wait, 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 this one. Oh, it's not exactly very far, is it? Oh, that's, that's good, at least. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Yes. Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this bag too if I were her. Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Wait, wait. For what? He's such a menace. Wait. It took Gareth Splash whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wink eyes. Uh, there is about about potions always disrupting the Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. 
Mr. Weasley. Maybe this is where the Weasley family silliness comes from. This kid. <laughs> Rebellion. Wait, did I just see something? Did the scuff on his shoe the other day? That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. There we go. Cool. That was a quick one. That was a quick one. I don't mind that. That was that one's too bad. Quick one, not too far away. Not bad. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Yeah, perhaps you should. Well then, get to husband hogs. Words, language, hard, difficulty. Hogs made. Hello, oh. looking for me? Bevelia. Yeah, I am looking for you, but first... Flattened armor. This set of armor belonged to Sir Scragglethorpe, the heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Wait, the armor? Oh. Is he still in it? <laughs> I mean, if he's still in it, that body's right away inside there. But it stinks. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I said there is a whole like cinematic of going out of the castle. That I was want. glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. You I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. You know, it is beautiful this time of year. They could do Everyone so much more with this. Christmas. But that's one of the like I like what they've done so far in this game. Not much and you're starting as a fifth year. Oh, I do not yeah, know. It's so cool. Don't get me wrong. Has taken some getting but I would love to see. I did not grow up around. Is, what is it six or seven years? So a game in each year, just like oh, wait, over Harry Potter, for example. I often so there's a movie and a book for each year, oh? with a story so that goes along with each year. They are interesting. I'd like that for this. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. 
doesn't have to be Harry Potter. Doesn't doesn't have to be Harry Potter. But you know, a story. Look, from a forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them. That's a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Oh, yeah. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Huh? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <laughs> Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. Yeah, I think he did. Oh, oh. Nearly there. Moonstone. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just hugs and Interesting. Well, that's I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Probably a good idea. I see Ramrock around as well. And here we are. Oh, it is kitty. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and a new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivanda, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Room with different sites, shops, <laughs> and points of interest that you can investigate using your field guide map. Ah. Well, that works. Okay then, so let's go to one of first. 
Ah, so set. Wait, it's right here. Merlin, blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Oops. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. <laughs> it's about time. Excuse me. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Oh, that's very nice. Well, go ahead, swish. Swish? Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Uh, oh dear. Nope. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A red Disappointing. 13 and three quarter Same case heartstring? again. Couldn't have been different. Wanna try. Disappointing to see. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Same case again. It's gonna be different cases, man. That's disappointing yes. to see. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. <laughs> it's gone wrong twice so far. It's nice. I like it. What, what, what is this? Finalize. Oh, how intriguing. This is cool. Yeah, I, I've watched a little bit of people playing this game, but not from the start. I've never seen anyone play this from the start, so this is rather interesting. Quite like this. How intriguing. Do you quite like that as well, though? Curious indeed. I like that natural grey. Thirteen and a half inches, fourteen and a half inches. Damn. How intriguing. Go with the twelve and a half. Curious indeed. It can't be black walnut, the fucking thing's white. English oak Dragon heart string that serves as the core of the wand known for producing powerful magic hmm. a unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner okay 
Okay. Whether the Phoenix that serves the core of the world, capable of producing a great range of magic. Curious. Don't think this really matters, but I'm gonna go with the unicorn. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match? Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, one shall come back if one needs further assistance with a wand. Um, I did that wrong. There we go. Did it right this time. Rebellion. Oh, Uncle's joke shell. Oh, it's money in a bag just sitting there. Who does that? Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pavelia. Four eyes spectacles. Pardon okay. me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, Let's get you those recipes, shall we? Could you imagine accidentally creating a potion that kills you? Just imagine doing that. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, stench of the dead. Essence gathered from inferior ingredient for thunder. Essence of the dead. Oh, God. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I think one of them.
Um, sporting needs? No, we don't want sporting needs. Tomes and scrolls. We do need that. Wait. Wait. I'm not fond of my hair. Not fond of my hair. Can we change my hair? In here? Hello! You're a fancy pants. Oh, come in! Come in! Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. Uh... They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, rude. are we? You are rude. Uh, yeah. Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. What services do you offer? I would like to change my hair. She can give me scars. Come here a moment while I cut you. <laughs> She likes cutting people, not just their hair. Not fond of the hair. Oh my god, no. Did you imagine the- oh god, hell no. Can I rotate? I want to rotate. No, no, no. I want to rotate. How does one rotate? There's no way of rotating. You, you can't rotate, man. That does not look right. That does not look right. I mean, that one ain't too bad, but it don't look right. The hair really changes the face of the character, doesn't it? Just not... Not fond of my hair. Maybe it's the colour? Hold on, what did, what did we have? This is what we have, isn't it? Purple though. I won't lie. It's a bit nuts with that one. Um, I don't know. I really don't know, guys. How many is there? It's five. Uh, five, ten, twenty, thirty. Uh, no. Five, ten. Can't count. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't multiply it. <laughs> five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Forty, forty-five, fifty. So there are fifty in total. Should we leave it up to you guys? You guys can put in the comments, guys. 1 to 50. Alright, and that's what we go with. Alright. That's, that's what we go with. You guys can choose the hair. 1 to 50. Alright. I'm, I'm not sure... I'm just not sure about the hair. Something not right. Something not right. 
you guys can choose in the comments. One to fifty, and then we we change the hair to that. And we need to head to. I do believe there. Pretty. Was he the one? Uh, oh, the magic leap. 